The impact on teachers here at Clearview Primary has been quite remarkable since starting NPDL. It's had a big impact already on the way that they teach, what they're considering when they're teaching, and of course that's having a direct correlation to our student outcomes. I like to learn when I get to make a change in real life problems, when we get to work in collaborative groups and we get to share ideas and bounce off each other. Another big focus for us at school has been developing leadership and our teachers are stepping up into those roles and being able to examine their own pedagogy and then lead the pedagogy of other people as well. And it's been really exciting for me as a leader to see teachers really step up and make huge growth in their pedagogy and how they approach teaching and learning and leading the way really. So the impact that I'm seeing in the classroom is there's a real depth and a real focus and intentionality in the teaching and the learning programs that is helping to make our authentic action-based inquiry model really, really strong and seeing the teachers grow in that and seeing the children grow in that. And it's really powerful, I think, to see them make a really big impact on their community and on their environment and make those positive changes that we want to see our children grow up and do. Well, the parents are telling us and giving this feedback already that their children are coming home wanting to share their learning experiences. They're a lot more animated, they're a lot more in depth with what they're sharing about what they're learning. The learning their children are doing as well here at school is having this greater social impact outside of school. The benefits for me is that I really have a passion seeing the light bulbs go off, I call it. And that is just seeing the students experience it works. And so giving them the, the opportunities where that can happen, and it can just be the smallest things from at the woodwork table, you know, being able to pull out a nail, being able to hit it in the right way and seeing them just be proud of themselves that they got it. And that's something I know that they'll probably share with their parents, which is even better. Our community are very much partners in learning here. I don't think we could see the kinds of learning that we do in our school without our community, so they see what the children are doing and that means they can add to it at home or bring in their own expertise or even just be cheerleaders for the kids. It's given us permission as teachers to actually really talk about the teaching part of our programme. So what are the teaching and learning decisions that we're making in our learning environments? How are we choosing to use the space? And what does that look like if it's meeting the needs of our children? The learning through play that I've seen is the opportunities of just the environment, the items they have, and then just the teachers and supporting staff that are able to come and just assist, improve and help the students' ideas and just follow their passion. And that just enhances what they learn. While we were planting, we scooped up some insects and we found out what type of insects they were and what ones were good and what ones were bad. We found out where they live and some lived in bad water and some lived in good water. The whole reason we did the project was to clean the water and to make a difference in the community. Different spaces have been designed so that parents are a part of the school as soon as they walk in. There are areas that parents are welcome, but also other partners. So we have some strong connections with the community and they are welcome within our learning spaces. The fact that everything's kind of connected, students are learning partners from each other as well. The digital technologies really supports me and my classmates learning by helping us collaborate with other classmates, teachers and experts and getting instant feedback. We had feedback by people using our website telling us next steps and what we could add to our website and that, and it was very helpful. The vision of the New Zealand curriculum is to ensure our young people will be confident, connected, actively involved, lifelong learners. The six C's effectively encompass this intent. We're teaching students to be morally responsible, critical thinkers, problem solvers, but also be creative. We're teaching them to connect actively with their communities, whether that be on a global level or a local level. We're also teaching them how to be a better person and develop their character traits of empathy, grit, perseverance. So it's that self-knowledge, allowing students to explore themselves and how they work as a learner. I know I'm making progress with the six C's by reflecting on actions I make and after that you can notice how 
how your character and communication are building over time. The values of the six C's are to support educators prepare our students for the future. They're there to support and guide teachers through a process to provide lifelong learning skills that they can be applied in a variety of settings. We're moving students into a workforce that is unknown and we want to build on what the students can do rather than the knowledge. They form a global language, so we're all using the same terminology and that can be transferred into a range of settings. I think we are empowering our students for the world they live in now and in the future. And I think that catchphrase, engage the world to change the world, is something that we hold true when we're thinking about what deep learning is for us. Something that's going to catch someone's attention and make a difference.